surprised this still happens, especially to women, because you would think they're not susceptible to this like men are. Woman who thought she was in a relationship with Stranger Things star Dacry Montgomery sent a scammer $10,000 and she left her husband. Bruh. A woman who was fooled into thinking she was in a secret online relationship with a hunky Netflix star revealed that she sent him 10 G's, bro. And left her man like, how? oh my God. And when you see what she looks like, have they shown her? They haven't shown her yet. Once you see what she looks like and what this guy looks like, it, it's mind blowing. Like how delusional can you be? How much of the table are you bringing? God damn. Michaela, a single mother from Ken. Tucky Perfect. spent over a year believing she was exchanging romantic messages with Australian actor who played Billy Hargrove in Stranger Things. The amateur actress and filmmaker was willing to do almost anything to be with him, despite never meeting him in person or even talking to him on the phone, dude. A year of this. A year of this. Peanut for fucking brains. Bruh. After leaving her husband and sending him thousands of dollars in gift cards, she began to doubt the validity of their relationship and turned to the YouTube series Catfish for help. This is the aspiring actress. This right here is dating a Hollywood hunk in her mind. This right here. I hate to be that guy, but come on, man. Come on, man. We can't, we can't be serious. This is the aspiring actress that's going to have a groundbreaking role in Hollywood and date a hunk. What is going on with the general population? Holy crap, man. This is the dude she thinks she's dating. And this is her. This is her. I gotta get the damn song out. And this is who she thought she was dating for a year. Didn't speak to him on the phone once and got gypped out of 10 thou. Michaela explained that she met her mysterious paramour after she separated her from her t very toxic husband. Bro. Stop the cap. You're too much of a tar to know what toxicity looks like. And judging by you leaving your man and thinking you can be in a relationship with this kind of man. Stop the cap. Come on, man. And join an online artist forum to connect with other creatives like herself. Uh, dude, creatives. She hit it off with a stranger who hid behind his username before claiming he was Dacry, one of her favorite actors. I'm suspicious from the get-go. Sure you were. Until he starts doing things that make me believe he is who he is, she told Catfish. The real life Dacre has been in a relationship with his model girlfriend, Liv Pollock, for six years. But the person she was speaking with claimed they were unhappy. He was venting to me after a few months about his partner, saying she's very controlling of him. He doesn't get to do the things he wants to do. She, she's always there. She's always got to supervise, she recalled. I kind of empathize with that because my ex-husband was that way. After months of talking, Michaela's Dacry admitted to having feelings for her and asked her to be his girlfriend. Bruh. He was like, oh, but you got to keep it quiet because, you know, I'm still in love with Liv. <laughs> Bruh. Michaela said he told her that she had broken up with Liv six months before, but they were technically still together to keep up with appearances. Bruh. She threw away her husband to be this dude's side piece and bought into this concoction. She was okay pretending they were not together because he was still for appearances with his model girlfriend. Do you see what guys get away with when you're that guy? This is what I tell you guys. There's no limits, man. Dude, this is what she looks like. What is that poor dude on the left? Oh my God. And this is the actor and his girl. Bro, can you, ima can you imagine? I'm, I'm sorry, do your eyeballs work? Imagine looking at this chick right here and thinking this guy is gonna go from this woman. Look at this woman, dude, Jesus Christ. Let me make it bigger so we get a full screen peep. Look at this woman. You think this dude, somebody in their head literally thought that this guy was gonna leave this woman to be with this, dude. What? Bring back the insane asylums. I don't care if I sound like an asshole, we gotta start being real with people. Enough of this hand-holding, enough snowflaking, enough, enough. Look at what's happening. They're getting taken advantage of for $10,000 because people haven't slapped some sense into them. And that's not even saying, this is making headlines because it's a woman. Do you know how many men get absolutely wrecked by these kinds of scams? And half the times it's actually a real chick. She just needs to get on the phone and talk and prove she's real. And the guy's done for. He's hooked. That's an actual person that can keep pretending and doing the bit of I'm in love with you, long distance. I need money for bills, all this stuff. And the guy, because he spoke on the phone, because he got a FaceTime call in, he's completely hooked, bro. It's wild. 
None of that will ever make the headlines. There's guys that have spent hundreds of thousands. I don't even doubt that there's some that have spent millions on their online love. Does not make headlines. Oops, well, shouldn't have been dumb. Oh yeah, stupid man in love again. Oh my God, yeah, he's too dumb to, under, to understand that that was just a fake online profile. Oh my God, yeah, she used him. He should have known better. When she checked the couple's respective Instagram pages, she noticed that they didn't have any romantic snapshots posted at the time, which led her to believe she was falling for the actor. He wasn't posting her. She wasn't posting him. The only thing that I haven't seen in the last two years was a thing where she was posting about their five-year anniversary, she said. The Catfish team pointed out that a year of not talking to somebody on the phone is a very long time, dodo brain. Michaela agreed that it was a huge red flag, but she understood where he was coming from. For when he claimed he couldn't call her because Liv was controlling and glued to his hip. Oh my god. Dacry then gave her an ultimatum, telling her, here we go, how does it get 10 grand out of her? Telling her that it was either him or her husband. No way, dude. Doomsday music, where is it? Holy shit. What? No way. Telling her that it was either him or her husband. She chose him saying there's no competition, bro. Oh my God. Look at her, dude. Look at her. Oh my God. She said that right before season four of Stranger Things came out, he texted and told her that he had that she had to watch episode four. When it came out the next day, he showed up in, the, in that episode. I was like, well, who else would know that, she recalled. Mikhail also shared how he sent her poems that were similar to the ones featured in the real-life actor's book of poetry. Poems by Dacry Montgomery. These instances assuaged the doubt she had about her online relationship. And when he asked her for financial help, she came to his rescue. Bro, a successful actor making hundreds of thousands of episodes is asking you for help. Oh my God, these pictures. You can't be serious. Before I knew it, it was turning into $100, $200 gift cards. She said, explaining that he would sell the gift cards for less than they were worth and pocket the money. Michaela estimated that she sent him about $10,000. According to her, he needed the money because his girlfriend was controlling his finances. But the catfish team wasn't buying it. No fucking shit. They found that the actor made $150,000 per episode on Stranger Things. And there wasn't any evidence that Dacry and Liv had broken up. They were often seen on the red carpet and in interviews together. Further investigation proved that the check... Dacry had sent Michaela was fake and matched hundreds of checks online with the same signature. The scammer even lied about the lasagna he had allegedly cooked. The image he sent her was taken from a recipe posted from Martha Stewart. Michaela was heartbroken to find out she was being catfish, but she was grateful to finally know the truth about her online relationship. Love makes you do crazy, stupid, irrational things. She said, admitting she was ripe for being scammed because of her past trauma. Yeah, it's her past trauma. Her husband was toxic. She was given the ultimatum by a rich actor and she acted upon it by leaving her family. If you're someone like me, you're afraid of abandonment by abandoning your husband. And you're a real big people pleaser. And you're very codependent. So codependent, you trade in your husband for a perceived upgrade. These scammers, they just kind of come in and they leech off that. She blames everyone but herself. Thank God that dude got out of this relationship. This is a perfect example of why you need a vet not only for looks, but brains. A woman needs to have discipline. She needs to have a certain level of intellect. Or else you're dumb enough to get married to something like this. And I don't even blame the dude. Well, yeah, I blame the shit out of the dude, but he he looks like absolute beta McBucky right here. And that's probably the best he could do or he was dying a virgin. So, bro, I hope you're on the self-improvement rip because Jesus Christ. They even put his picture on here just to show what a sucker he is. My poor dude. Oh, my Lord. This one did him in, boys. We'll see you on the next one.